a race from these two fine runners. Let's do it. Let's make sure these guys are ready. Look at them all ready up. I think they're ready, though. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 Da -da -da. Da -da -da. All these guys are ready. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go! All right, who's gonna start first? We are gonna get... Wow, almost the same time. Scarface Nico's though, starting. All right, both runners pretty much starting at the same time. Scarface Nico not doing the pipe rub where for open is. We have some people, we've seen some people um, have a really bad time with the pipe rub. Ah, I like what Feropen does at the end there. No more. You know, for a couple of years, I actually did do the stomp off the turtle at the end of 1-1. One, one, but then I stopped doing that. I think I had already played the game long enough where, I, where like, changing it up a little bit was just refreshing. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, Scarface Nico, man. He's, he's killing it so far. I feel like Scarface Nico might not suffer so much in terms of time. He, he seems a lot more confident now. Uh, he seems practiced. Uh, you could see it at Mario's movements. He doesn't have like the shakes or anything. He's not He's not struggling here All right on both runners killing it All right, we're going for the double tunnel here. Let's see if one can get it. Oh, the neither runner keeps P speed to get the backup. Scarfy Sneeko gets the MFP tunnel. Oh, snap. Damn. Scarfy Sneeko is ready. He is ready. All right, he does get a pretty, pretty annoying Hammer Brother battle though. It's not so much like annoying or bad. It's just in the position it's in, you get a pattern that I find to be annoying rather than the other pattern, which is just so much more comfortable. Now for anyone who doesn't know, it seems like Feropen is in the lead, but Scarface has already fought his Hammer Brother. Um, but for open is gonna save a bit of time here because he is gonna be able to get the fire flower through the hammer brother uh, Which saves a little bit of time here uh, He's not going for it. What for open not going for the fire flower in the hammer brother. What was that about? Scarface not getting the leaf Nico knock or er, for open not getting the leaf either Throne jump for Nico and No throne jump for for open why? How come Feropen didn't go for the Fire Flower in the Hammer Brother battle? For the time save. Very, very interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if it has anything to do with, like, the boss pattern he thinks he's gonna get. I guess that, re I guess that makes sense, um, on Scarface's side as well. The Hammer Brother that he got really doesn't matter because... You're doing the Mushroom House anyways. Plus Fire Flower Grab. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. Oh no, Scarface, no! No! Okay, he got the kill, but he lost the time, unfortunately. Oh no, he's still in the lead, okay. Wow, he's still in the lead. 
Hmm. Uh, this is uh, this is kind of exciting. The underdog has already started off strong here. Right? I, I love to I love to see this kind of stuff. There's two races today of this tournament, but the second race, unfortunately, is in the afternoon. It is in the afternoon. So we have a little break after game one. Nice, both runners entering world two level one. They'll probably do a pretty similar Scarface Nico going for the lag reduction strategy. Gonna save a bit of time doing it that way. Very nice, very nice. Both runners with the star and flower. Very similar in points too. Nice, okay, they're gonna go for the spade game. All right, instantly moving for the stars, going straight for the 10 bucks. For open, also getting the 10 bucks. And now it's just a matter of what are these runners gonna do inside. Let's see who's gonna keep it. Scarface is out. He got his items, he's done. All right, moving on to world two here. Buffing on the overworld. Faropa going with the full clear. I guess the full, like, by the time you've matched everything that you wanted to match, full clearing might be faster than doing the two errors, right? The two, like, stuns for, for messing up the card. Because it does that, like, buzz sound and you, like, have to delay. So I don't know. I've never tried to do a full clear versus that. But if it's anything, it's only, like, a second. It's only a, it's a very small amount of time. I don't think it makes much of a difference at that point. Scarface Nico keeping his lead, getting early P speed in the beginning of this fortress, doing very well, keeping his opponent on his toes. Veropen can't seem to catch up to Scarface while also being behind by one point. Um, so yeah, we just wanna what we want to see is Scarface not running out of steam right now. He can't he can't afford to run out of steam. He's gotta see this through and play like this for both games if he's gonna wanna beat Veropen. However, Froppen really needs to clean up some strats. Got He's got to hope for Scarface to make a mistake here. Clean up some points, maybe some shared points. A couple RNG points, then it's not a big deal. Red Rocket Strat is a great example of, is someone going to mess it up? Both runners get it. Very nice, see? See what I mean, Scarface? Like, Scarface is not letting Feropen catch up, but Feropen is not really messing up while he's behind Scarface a little bit here. Neither runner has fought a hammer, brother. Feropen's gonna fight his first one, and it's going to be backwards. It's going to be backwards. He's got one. This could be, this could be a points turnaround here. Oh, that angry, angry sun. And Scarface gonna do the 2-5, which is, um... 2-5 is the easier level in this world. It's way more comfortable. It is way more comfortable. For open, gonna fight the Hammer Brother. Ah, oh, and it moved forward, unfortunate. Oh my gosh, that was one movement away. All right, Scarface is, and Scarface doesn't even get an opportunity. So that's pretty good for open. For open's gonna do the harder level, but it is a little bit faster. Very nice, he gets through, very nice. That is some scary stuff. I don't know exactly who's in the lead right now. I think Scarface is still in the lead by a little bit, but Feropen is catching up a little bit. Feropen is gonna be very close. Well, with all the pens, Scarface didn't really mess up anything in the pyramid. He did a, an extra shot, which caused a little bit of lag. So that's gonna be the only difference here because Feropen did not do that extra shot. That's all about this rock gate here, the block. Yeah, nice. And Scarface gets the last. Boomerang, bro. Wow, pretty big difference here. 
Scarface Nico getting another throne jump. He's got two now. Moving on to world three. Moving on to world three. What's going on guys? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How's everyone doing today? My sexy, sexy crew. What, you guys don't like Scareface Nico? What's wrong with Scareface Nico? I'm gonna leave it a mistake there so that it bothers you. I'm gonna leave it there. Scam Face Nico? Yeah, let's change it to Scam Face Nico. Scam Face Nico is requested by Alice. All right, very nice. Feropen is so close to scam face. All right, here we go. The shared point, man, this is gonna be close. We gotta watch Scarface first. Does he get it? Oh shit, he didn't! Oh, and Feropen didn't get it either! That is a huge thing for Feropen. That He needed that really badly. He really, really needed that. Rough go there. Alright, two, or sorry, three, one is down. Wow, very interesting race. They both have the star, star mushroom. These runners are pretty dang equal. Scam face and for open, very close to runaway. Gonna go for early P speed 3 2. Very hard P speed strat. Both runners is gonna get it though. The only issue here is neither runner has taken damage and they cannot afford it. Oh, for open, as long as he doesn't get hit here. Okay, he is safe. Wow, very interesting here. Big deal. Do they both get Runaway? Let's see. Scamface gets not Runaway. Ooh, that sucks. He was so close. And Feropen does get Runaway. Big deal here. That is a big deal. Like I said, it's going to be their combination of catching up, getting in the lead, or getting some good RNG. Scamface slows down a little bit, but he does make it. He has 55 coins, but he's in the clear for a score. So he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Scam face can't get that runaway, man. Feropen already has runaway. Feropen looks like he's forced to fight the Hammer Brother as well. Not a big, not a big deal. Scam face does not get door four. Does Feropen get it though? Oh, Feropen does not get door four either. Wow. Very nice. They're both, oh my god, head to head, man. This is crazy. So, Broken is actually going to drop quite a bit in time here because he did get run away, although he is going to get the point. It's just the situation he's in. He could try and go for the hammer and get his get around this. I'm um, curious what he's going to do. So, he's going to fight the hammer. Very interesting. Gets bottom, bottom pattern. Scarface doing a great 3-4 right now. Very beautiful. Nice and comfy. Gonna get out of that 55 coin range. Not that it was a big deal, but it's still annoying. It's still annoying to have two coins at the same digit. And Scarface is going to be able to get out of there without using a music box. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. If you can skip one music box in the run while getting the music box from World 2, then you're in a position in World 6 where you don't have to sacrifice your last music box and play the Piranha Plant stage, which is pretty good. And Feropen is in an awkward situation. He's gonna Cloud go to the right, 
grab the other cloud, go back down. Uh, but he does have the hammer, and he's going to hopefully not have to fight the star bro. Although, most runners have committed to using a music box in World 3, and he also hasn't used it yet either. Um, so what what you want to see on for open screen is the hammer brother go up and to the right. Um, that will allow him to not have to use the music box, and he'll get the hammer brother stuck there. Scarface doing an amazing H jump in 3-9. Very, very nice. Very comfortable. Scarface has brought his game today. So Feropen should just use a music box here with the cloud. Um, uh, it seems like by the way he stopped in the overworld map, he is not used to this situation. He is not comfortable with this situation. Um, this is new to him. Uh, he didn't quite know exactly what to do, but I think it still stands. Just uh, cloud and music box. So we'll see, we'll see. Scarface with another throne jump. Uh, pretty unfortunate World 3 here for Scarface. The only thing he's going to get is the loss in Fire Flower. Nice! We're open using the music box. That's exactly what we want to see. Now it's his turn for the H jump. Let's see what he gets. Very beautiful H jump. I always hate rearranging my position when jumping on the grab block there, but... It helps when you need it. Very, very nice job from these runners. Very nice job. And Feropen is out of there. Very nice. Scarface Nico with the no loss fire flower. Where is, um, Oh yeah, they yeah, oh, yeah, they're tied up in points because Feropen didn't get the tunnel. That's right. Alright, moving on to world four for these runners. Well, hold on. Feropen could technically still lose his fire flower, so let's let's be sure everything's okay. And Scanface Nico is doing a fantastic job. Like I said, he must have he ate his Wheaties this morning, you know? He uh actually I think it's nighttime for him, isn't it? Mid-afternoon nighttime for him. I don't know. I don't know I don't understand time. I don't understand the sun. Was Scamface going for, like, Tass? Very nice. Gets bottom P-Speed. And Feropen does without damage. Very nice. Moving on to World 4 for Feropen. Now, remember, Feropen is behind by a lot, but he does have the extra hammer that he's going to be able to use in World 4. It's going to allow him to catch up a little bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work in the points tournament because he fights the hammer for the hammer. 10 seconds. Then he does the level for the ex the, to get his cloud back. So regardless, the route that he had to take is still just automatically like a 15 second time loss, right? So not a big deal. Scamface actually almost getting a star there with this card. You gotta watch out not do too big of a turn back. It's, uh, it could be pretty scary. No marathon for Scamface, but Scarface is in an uncomfortable position. His cloud is running away from him, and he's gonna need that cloud, man. He needs that cloud. Nice. Feropen getting bottom path, too. Like I said, Feropen is not giving Scarface a chance to, to get a bid, a big lead. But it's amazing how they've been pretty much tied and equal this whole race in points. Um, I love that. I love to see that. Feropen getting really good RNG here with a movement of four, unfortunately. Uh, but even if Feropen's Hammer Brother runs away, um, he can still use his rock and then go down and he should be good. Or his hammer, sorry. His hammer on the rock. Scamface was practicing this level earlier. Oh, and the, that's what was happening in practice, unfortunately. This level is very difficult and um, crazy to see that this is Scarface's like first big mistake. He's slowing down. He's going to damage boost anyways. Get through. Nice. Feropen with the great RNG. Except another movement of four. 
He's wasting his movements of four in world four instead of world five, which is very unfortunate. All right, Scarface is in a position. He's has the music box here. Um, but the good news for music boxing here, though, is he's going to cause this star bro to be stuck back there, which means he can just get the uh, he can get the P wing and he can get the cloud. So he should be good for open doing the uh, um, the Maiba strategies there. I think I think the first time I saw that happen was uh, Maiba doing that. Very nice. All right, so Feropen is now officially one. He's like half a level be behind. Feropen has already fought the Cloud Bro here, where Scamface has not fought the Cloud Bro. Still no marathon for me, the runner yet. Wait, did Scarface just jump there, guys? Did Scarface just jump at the start of the level, not ducking? Oh, he did duck jump at the start. Okay, it looked like he didn't. Okay, okay. Wow, I, I must have just looked from for open and saw. Okay, I just want to make sure. Very nice. Good, good. All right, go back, get the cloud. Dude, if that Hammer Brother goes down, that'll be that'll be great for Scarface. But it looks like if Scarface is forced to fight the P-Wing, for open might actually catch up here. And Scarface did have to get... Oh, for open with the turn back card. No way, dude. I thought he was not going to get the duck and a fanfare. That would have been a two point swing right there. All right. Can, oh, if for, if for open gets P speed, he's going to catch up a lot here. Oh my God. He does get P speed. How much is he going to look at this insane? They are tied up and just like that, right on his tail again. Scarface is not getting a chance to really widen the gap at all. Wow, look at that. Oh, Scarface not getting a throne jump, man. There goes his throne jump combo. Oh, insane, man. I love it. Well, Scam Scarface heard me call him a mild underdog. He's not that big of an underdog. I mean, in compare he's he's a bigger underdog compared to points. Cuz he's thrown down two 25 point games. Or two 25 point matches actually, which means, you know, on average uh, 12 points per game. Uh, for opens two games, 37. Um, they're both doing way better than they did before already. I think for open is kind of doing close to the same. I'm not sure. For open is actually, in terms of speed, playing a little less than what he's uh, what he's used to. But who knows? Oh my God, Duck World Four airship? No way. I'm already making them do enough duck jumps. Okay. All right, moving on to World 5. World 5 is a big world in this tournament. World 5, I think, World 5 is probably the most important world in this tournament. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to ask the runners and, like, how they feel, but it looks pretty good. But they are tied 10 to 10. Yeah, P speed on one of the airships should be a season four. No, that's too easy. That's way too easy. Scam face gonna be the first one to go. <gasps> oh no! Scam face! Okay, he got that stomp. That was really good. And just like that, Broken has now taken the lead in time. Something as small as that. Come on, Scarface. Don't run out of steam and come on, Fropen. Stay in the lead, both of you. Both of you have work to do. Luckily, both of them are going to equip a P-Wing here. So it should be okay.
All right, P-Wing for for open. Here we go. P-Wing for Scarface. Very nice. Let's do it. Froppen gets a pretty decent fly there, not amazing. Scarface gets a really good fly, so let's see what time difference is. No, it's still 288 for both. Nice, Froppen not equipping a Firefly. That's what he did last time, so he should be able to get two points here. No movements of four from either runner yet. Scarface, a little slow up into that pipe. When you have a tail, you don't actually have to do a turn back. When uh, jumping up that hill, you just hold forward and uh, you won't body rub. So hopefully... All right. It's the damage boost. Scarface is a little bit faster there with uh, the way he did that. At 284 in the pipe. Scarface with the 284 as well. 282. He gets it. And 282 for both of our runners. Damn, dude. No movement of four for Froppen and... No movement of four for scam phase. All right. He's going to equip this fire flower now. That's going to be pretty good for time here. We're, we're, man, for open is risky having that fire flower early, right? Come on, Scarface. You were, I, it seems like Scarface entering world five. He knows he's got a lot of points, but he could be starting to get a little nervous. You got this, bud. All right, he's starting to bleed a little bit of time here. Starting to go a little slower, a little bit more careful, which is fine. I think that's a, I think that's good, right? I think it's, you got to go as safe as you can go within your comfort zone. Uh, Scarface not. Oh, he does get a movement of four there. That's pretty good. That's one. That's what we want to see. All right, I wonder if. Running out of steam, scam face. Come on, bud. Froppen with the 279. Still no movement of four for Froppen. If Froppen misses this jump at the end of this level, that's a two-point swing. He loses Fire Flower and he misses the jump. It looks like he got it, though. And he did get it. Very scary, man. Very scary. Nice. Scarface out of coin ship range. That is good. He does have one movement of four, so he needs to stay on top of this. Froppen still not getting any movements of four. He's going to go for early P-Speed here. He does get it with the Fire Flower. Scarface Tico does get the big Koopa jump. Very scary. Very scary. So Scarface needs to get this to take the point away from Froppen. This is big. This is, this is going to change. Who's in the lead? Who's behind? Scarface with the movement of four. That's good. He's going to use a star. He's going to make sure. Oh, yeah. He got it. He got it. Okay. So he made sure. Very nice. So no runner is going to get that point. The shared point. Uh, for open still hasn't taken damage. Scarface is actually starting to become behind close to a full level. Not quite, but close. Scarface. Oh, no movement of four yet for Scarface. For open still no movement of four yet either. Unfortunate, man. Really annoying here. Uh, Scarface is very close to an extra movement of four. Is he going to grab Fire Flower here, though? That's the question. I don't think so, because he's going to get early P-Speed here. Yep, very nice. So, it's crazy how we've seen runners actually adopt this strategy throughout the tournament. Is um, Some runners have decided just to simply not get Fire Flower at all in World 5. And not risk it. Froppen's risk is paying off though. Because he's already jumped close to 10 seconds ahead. Just by having Fire Flower. And Scarface was... That was a movement of four, right? I don't know about you guys. But that looked like it. Froppen getting early P-Speed in 5.8. Very, very nice. That's about 13 extra frames, I think. I think, I think it's anywhere between 9 frames and 13. Oh, don't soft lock, Scarface. And for open, just getting a million movements of one and two.
No, that was the movement of two. We're gonna double check on that movement after there. Why male models? That's right. Yeah, if somebody could take a take a look at that and listen to the audio there, Scarface's Hammer Brother movement after seven after five seven. I feel like it was a move of four. No, I don't think it was actually. That it seemed more like that. He does get the throne jump. Yeah, I don't think he got that extra movement of four. Sadly. Yeah, looking looking at, it, I don't think so. Unfortunate. He did get two though. Very nice. How's it going, chat? Both runners on the airship. Scarface has actually started to go behind a little bit in time here. Um, but unfortunately... No, fortunately, they have not... They got the same points. This is crazy, man. What is going on? This is the center for ants. Needs to be at least two... What does he say? Three, three times this size? And then he's like, he's absolutely right. He goes to drink his hot beverage and like he intentionally spills it all over his assistant. Very nice. Can't lose Fire Flower if you don't have it. Here coming in hot World 6 for open is gonna start his World 6 with high or low and high. Gonna start his World 6 with high pattern, very nice. Broper and getting a lot of good Hammer Brother movements here. Like I said, he's gonna start his Hammer Brother movements with high pattern. Yeah, man, I don't know how Scarface got be got so behind in time. That Twisty Castle really uh, juked him around, man. That Twisty Castle was really, really annoying for him. Didn't get P-Speed, had to go slow. Um, he's gonna have to do the leap thing. All right, Scarface also gets high pattern as well. So both runners getting high patterns. Very nice. Uh, neither runner got the flower from World 1 or the leaf, sorry, so they're not going to have to worry about that too much. Scarface getting a good Hammer Brother movement there. Going to use a P-Wing here. He does have the extra P-Wing too, that's right. He does have the extra P-Wing. Going to drop early here, take the early damage for open with a very nice 6-4. Oh, Scarface missing it. He's got to stay low. Yep, stay low. Yep, stay low, take it easy. Very nice. All right, Feropen is in a good position here. He's gonna use a mushroom and he gets low pattern. So Feropen is going to benefit from that RNG right there. Low, high and low instantly. That's pretty good. Uh, this is an opportunity for, for Feropen to take the lead here. Uh, not within his control. I mean, it is RNG related. So we'll see how this goes. Um, Scarface needs for open to take damage here, lose his leaf, kind of kind of bleed a bit of time. He does get early P speed in 6 4, though. Very nice for open with the despawn strat. Very, very easy. Scarface has 11 coins. This is kind of uh, nerve wracking here. He's got to watch out when he fights the Hammer Brothers here. And he doesn't want to fight that one. And Feropin gets no extra inventory stars from World 3 to 6. Feropin uh, has a little mess up there. Scarface Nico also gets... Very nice. Oh my gosh, Scarface is so close to a coin ship, man. He's got to be very careful fighting this Hammer Brother here. He's got to be very careful fighting this Hammer Brother. Does he get low pattern? He does also get low pattern. This is insane. He also doesn't get any extra inventory stars. They are still tied, guys. This is so silly. 
This has so far been the most even match the entire tournament. Oh, Scarface, what happened? He panicked? Oh, no, he just went up instead. Okay. Yeah, he'll take damage there. Okay, makes sense. All right, Feropen's gonna go back to sub-pixel manipulation for wall jump. I don't know what... I've never seen the manipulation... I've never watched the sub-pixels when moving there. It looks so strange to me. Oh, he body rubs. It's gonna mess everything up. Oh, and it did mess everything up. He has not caught the pixel yet. He's still trying to get it. He did get the pixel. Very nice. This is an opportunity for Scarface here. This is a big opportunity because we're starting to run out of points that these runners can get. They have stayed tied the entire race. Literally even with points the whole time almost. Except for World 1. Ropen's going to use a mushroom here because he can try and set up. Get for the clip. If Scarface Nico gets first try, he's going to use the pipe transition here. Right on. He's changed up his strategies. I, I don't understand why they're moving left one pixel. You got to have a low sub-pixel value. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, they both do the wall rub. The same thing happened to Scarface because they did the wall rub. Is he going to get it third try here? No, he hasn't got his pixels yet. Oh, he does finally get it though. Very nice. For open not getting the clip in the fortress. Another opportunity for Scarface. Still not getting a coin ship. He has had 11 coins the entire world. It's making me way too scared here. Way too nervous. Feropen is going to use his Fire Flower here. Scamface is going to use his Fire Flower here. Let's see if Scarface can get the clip. This clip has single-handedly won people tournaments. Tournaments and races. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, very close though. Very nice. This race is nuts, guys. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Yeah, Tompa, I'm updating Mini Kaizo Bros 3, so I'm sorry. Your task is amazing though, but... Yeah, I hope there's no problem. I hope you task it again, though. It's not going to be, like, you'll see the update. The update is actually so much better. Faropa with the fire kill. Very nice. He's going to go for, Faropa's going to go for duck clip in 7-1. Here we go, man. If Ropen gets gated by 7-1 here, there's a great opportunity for Scarface to catch up. But these runners' points are very similar. Oh, that's why I don't do Duck Clip. Because Feropen had the right subpixel values, but the Duck Clip just screwed him over, man. I, I hate the Duck Clip so much. I lost a lot of runs from Standing Clip when I first got into it. But as, the as time goes, you just get better and better at it. Come on, Feropen, get this, man. You're in the lead. You gotta stay in the lead. Come on, Feropen. No. Come on, Feropen. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Oh, no, Feropen. No, just so much time. Scarface is right. Oh, and he does one stand clip and he gets it. Dude, duck clip sucks. All right. Scarface, if he gets a first try here. Oh, he didn't. All right, you gotta get this, though, fast. Little jumped a little too late. He's jumping a little too late here. A little too late. There you go. Wow, he caught up a lot of time here. And uh, don't forget, we got to keep an eye on the bumps. No overworld bumps from either runner. Oh! 
Oh, for open with the pipe to pipe. Love to see it, guys. Love that pipe to pipe action. Nice, Scarface with the... Oh, he almost fell in the pit there. Just be grateful that you didn't. That was insane. No bumps on the overworld map yet. Let's see if Ferropin gets punished in 7-3. A very easy level until somebody tells you you can't make a mistake in it. He's got two fire flowers. Let's hope he doesn't get one. Oh, very nice. That was a very smart move. Moving on to World 7 for these runners. Both runners have used their lifelines, so they can't... They can't do anything about it. Scarface needs to make sure he also doesn't get punished here in 7-3. He almost face rub there. Oh, man. I would definitely take the Lakitu in terms of uh, changing it up a bit. Fropen on his way to 183. Gonna go for the sub-pixel manipulation here. Oh, he's scared. Okay, he's gonna back up a little bit. Very nice. All right, Scarface not too far behind. No bumps from either runner yet. For open's actually gonna go back. Oh, that's right. I know that sub pixel manipulation. Wow, the double point there. Double point for For open. Nice. Oh my god. If if Scamface can get this. No way, man. If he does. Oh, and he didn't! Dude, don't tell me 7-6 will be the difference. Come on, he's wasting all of his jumps. There you go. He does get the first chance he gets. Very nice. So he's not going to lose too much time. Feropen with a very... Oh my gosh. Dude, that's way scary for Feropen. Gonna have a little bit of a slowdown here. Try and grab that hammer suit. He's flip-flopping left and right, but he's looking pretty good. The one point difference here. So this is where Feropen is in a very scary situation because he is going to cloud here. Cloud music box. Scary. I think we're going to see Scarface do 7-9, which that's not a bad idea, but Feropen is a monster, so we'll see how this goes. Very nice. Gets the triple kill. Boom, and he's in it. With how well these runners are doing in terms of points, I wonder if Feropen thinks like he's got this in the bag, because he, he definitely doesn't. Oh, that's way too risky. Yep, Sc Scarface is going to do 7-9, uh, which I think is a very good decision. Nice, he's gonna get rid of that Goomba. He's gonna lose a little bit in time, but whatever, right? And no bumps for Feropen. <laughs> wow, man. That gap, man, that gap for mid clip is the worst. So, unfortunately, you can see for Scarface that that level took much longer um, than for Open's Fortress. Alright, well, let's preemptively mark... Scarface down for second place here, so we get a more accurate read on how World 8 is going to go for these two runners. Feropen is in the lead right now, so uh, he does have first place, and uh, Scamface is in second place. Good old Scarface. Yo, what's going on, guys? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the sub love, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the support. Thank you very much. Sorry I can't see all the subs. Just uh, doing the commentary here. This, uh, this race has been, uh, this, I don't know, man. This has been insane. They are in auto-scroller land, though. 
Hands are gonna make up a- Oh, I- Guys, I totally forgot about the hands, I'm not gonna lie. We are in massive hand range right now. I can't believe how much I forgot about the hands. So let's see on Feropen's side when he grabs the wand. How far ahead he is. I think he's a little under a minute ahead, but let's see. Okay, so Feropen grabs the wand on his timer. 44.53. 44.53. So let's see uh, where Scam Face is. 44.53. So 10 seconds already. Alright, 13, or 20 seconds. I was going to say 13 seconds. 20 seconds behind. Okay, it's 30 seconds behind. Okay, 40 seconds behind. At 40, 47 seconds. 47 seconds behind for open. So that's a, that's a two hands. That's two hands or, um, so Scarface will get in the lead if for open gets all hands and he gets none. Um, if for open gets two hands and Scarface gets one, Scarface will still be about 20 seconds behind. And if for open gets, no, if Ropen gets all three, Scarface can still get one and be be good. Yeah, this is uh this is a nutty nutty first race. Very nutty. Yeah, I don't I don't have a nut allergy, so I'm not allergic to these nutty runs. Oh. Yeah, we're in auto scroller land right now. Boring. Come on, guys. All right, here we go. For open, it's going to be the first one. Uh, Nico getting out of steam. Not really. He had an unfortunate twisty castle, which set him back a lot of time. That's really all that, that it was. Right? I think uh, just a couple things, right? Uh, he had a big slowdown in 7-2 as well. All right, Feropen's gonna be the first one to cross the hands. And one! This is, okay, we don't want Feropen to get any hands, but as the crowd, the crowd wants the hands. We want, we, we want Feropen to get a couple hands where Scarface gets none. The crowd wants that, we want that. Two hands! It's 
getting nutty. No way, Scarface. If you get no hands, no way. Oh, come on. Oh, I hope Scarface doesn't get all hands. Nice, he gets a little piece speed there. That's very nice. If Scarface only gets one hand though, he will catch up here. Well, like he's not gonna catch up, but he'll save a bunch of time on top. Oh, dang. All right, don't get the third one, please. Yes. All right. Oh, Scarface almost lost his hammer suit. All right, for open combo points, baby. We're open doing a couple little turnbacks here, getting a little nervous. 290 though, he does nail it. 290. All right, here goes for open, going for the combo point here. Very nice for for open. Looking good on the combo point. Very nice. Combo, baby. Combo. All right, Nico's turn with the combo. As long as he doesn't go down in any points, he should be good. We already have second place applied to his name, so he's not behind by that much. Nice Scarface looking good for 8-1 with the combo point. For open, gonna have to go for conveyor piece spin. Oh, for open! Almost dies there. That's what Scamface needed. That's like almost, that's just too close for comfort. But Scarface can get a point back here by getting that conveyor P-Speed. He really needs to get that conveyor P-Speed. Gets the sun kill. Couple extra, no, he needs to get his P-Speed back. 292, he's good. He gets the combo point. He needs this conveyor P-Speed. Oh, and he doesn't get it! <laughs> no! Oh my god. The two, okay, the, the, there's only, there's three points of difference here between these two runners. Number one, Nico got MFP tum Tunnel. Number two, Feropen got 7-6 first try. And number three, Feropen got first place in time. That's it. Right? That's it. Other than that, they all they got the same crap. Wow. I mean, Froben could still accidentally die in Bowser's Castle. I don't want that to happen, but it still could. Very nice. Nice, very nice for Feropen. 
Clean Bowser kill. Now hopefully Scarface isn't watching Discord. Cause he's uh he's gonna be in Bowser's castle. For open with the 54-53. And the dot done. Scarface. No dicking around, Scarface. Come on. Nice! Oh my god. Holy crap! All right. Let these runners take a quick little break here. 18 to 16, insane. I don't know, Contact Juggle, I don't know. They just, they were very confused with the art style in this game, but also at the same time, the art style is amazing. Go ahead and give both runners a GG, guys. Go ahead and give both runners a GG, and thank you very much for the gift, gift love, guys. Thank you very much for the support. <laughs> what an amazing race. Am I starting to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the tournament's over, well, probably near the end of the tournament. Probably pretty, uh, much closer to next month. Yeah. So, just in a couple days, pretty much. Yep.
do, 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 yeah, I had to get a whole new computer. Yep, yeah, unfortunately. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's see when these runners are ready. Race two, guys. And then we go offline and then we come back on in the afternoon. That's right. That's right. All right. Race two, and one of our runners is ready. Furrow is not ready yet. The Mario 3 Shadow, that's right. This isn't Mario Three. I need more Mario's. All right, for opens ready, guys. I'm ready for snack, breakfast. All right, these runners are ready. Are you guys ready? What's going on, Armin? As long as you guys are ready, these guys are ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, go! Here we go. Who's gonna start first? Scarface Nico is gonna start. Nice, both runners ready to go. Starting race one. Let's hope that Nico has not run out of steam, man. He's so close to advancing to the next one, but that might inadvertently cause uh, additional nerves that these runners do not need, man. There's a, there's a X amount of nerves here that come into play when performing on the spot, especially when playing video games on the spot. It's very hard um, to precisely use like your hands and fingers. Like imagine a knitting contest. Like imagine you were trying to win a million bucks in a knitting contest and you're like one of the finals and you're nervous. Like how hard would it be to use your hands? Uh, Scarface actually messing up a little bit there, but he's gonna use that as an opportunity to grab the leaf there and maybe try and catch up uh, in the fortress here. But we're gonna move over to Feropen's for Feropen's for uh, stream here. Uh, right away, Feropen is gonna catch up with time here, leaving Scarface a little bit in the dust. It's it's a, the classic early P-Speed versus not early P-Speed in the fortress, or sorry, in 1-2. Uh, 
Uh, but Scarface is going to get the P-Speed here, fly right up. And just like that, you can see that they're still very close to each other. Look at the different tile sets. Dark blue, light blue. Froppen's was more of like a turquoise color. Froppen has the very, very standard quality of the NES right now. It's very nice. All right, tunnel versus not tunnel. Froppen doesn't get the tunnel, takes damage, gonna lose some time. Scarface gets the tunnel again, two times in a row and doesn't take damage. Scarface might actually catch up right here in time because uh, Froppen's gonna have to go down and uh, get the mushroom. This is insane. Another situation here. Froppen's gonna have to go down and grab that and just like that, yes, Scarface, look at how even these runners are. Wow. Already off to an insane game two. Already off to an insane game two. Here we go. Scarface and Faropen gonna have to go into the mushroom house here. See if either one gets a leaf and Scarface doesn't. Faropen also doesn't. Neither of these runners can get lucky with the mushroom house. All right, here we go. Gonna do the hammer brother first. Faropen has an opportunity to grab. Wait. How did Fro open? No, they're in the same spot. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, throne jump for Scarface and throne jump for Fro open. Very nice. Both runners are gonna get the throne jump. Very nice. Moving on to World 2, but just like that, Scarface is in the lead and is behind by one point total. Very nice. This is insane, guys. Man, man, oh man. Type exclamation tournament, guys, if you want to get all the information, the schedule, the brackets, the calendar. Uh, it allows you to mark things down and do everything on your own. It's very, very nice user-friendly, guys. This tournament this month has been insane. One point for Bouncy Flower in next season. It's not a bad idea. Wait, did Faropen just take the leap by like frames here? He did. Simply by a better fire kill. That's it. Just a slightly better fire kill. Tompa. Okay, the point the point fives are gone forever. No more point fives. Remember how mad everyone got in season one? Why is there point five points? Alright, in the world two, here we go. All right, they need to get the 10 bucks. 10 bucks from the spade card game. Don't fall in the moat and get better Hammer Brother movements. All right, but they got to do 2 1 first. Nice. Scarface saving some frames. Some lag frames. Not enough to take that lead back, though. Look at these runners, man. This is crazy. All right, they're gonna go for the bucks, the money. Froppen does go for full clear though, so we could see uh, Scarface actually catch up here. Let's see. Froppen looking at his cheat sheet. Scarface almost messes it up there. Gets his fire flowers and Scarface is out of there. See what I mean? See what I mean? He is gonna take the lead. Wow, big difference there. That's a big deal. All right, needs to make sure he doesn't fall in the water moat here. Scarface cannot fall in the water moat, or else he does lose a point. Alright, same goes for Froppen. Looking good from both of our runners, though. Froppen with the short hops, man, so close. But he doesn't get punished. Very nice. Very nice.
This is nuts, man. I'm just so glued to this. Very nice work in the fortress there. Watch out for those spikes. Uh, no Hammer Brother movements yet. No Hammer Brothers yet. I'm gonna go for Red Rocket, though. This is a big deal, man. These points... Every point in this race now is a big deal. And I kind of... That pressure is rough, man. Because, I mean, if you miss Red Rocket, you're probably going to lose the tournament because of Red Rocket. I mean, that's the position we're in right now. Right? That's the... Like, it's ridiculous it's got to that point. Wow. Feropen is going to actually gain a lot of time here by, by doing that. Both getting the Red Rocket strategy. Very nice. Red Rocket, the new Jesus clip. Red Rocket broke the tournament. All right, they're both in the sun level. Very nice. Neither runner has fought a Hammer Brother yet, so we don't know what kind of uh, RNG this uh, this run's shaping up to be. If it's anything like last run, both runners did not get lucky in World 1 in the, in the Mushroom Mess, and they did not get lucky with the Hammer Brothers here. So let's see. Scarface still... Oh, man, no. Don't do it. 2-4 is too scary. Good luck to our runners here. Feropen also going to go for the 2-4. Oh, these runners know what they're doing. Oh, man, that's so scary. Nice. Very nice. These runners know exactly what they're doing. Clutching it out. GG. All right, Scarface first Hammer Brother battle is going to be... Forwards. Unfortunate. Feropen first Hammer Brother battle is going to be... Oh, backwards! Oh, no! This is not what Scarface wanted to see. He does get good RNG here, though. He, does gets, one, he gets one backwards. That's it. All right. We're not going to find out for Feropen until later. It's going to seem like Feropen is in the lead doing the, uh, the, the, um, the pyramid first. That's not the case. That's not the case. He has not fought a second Hammer Brother yet, where Scarface has fought his second Hammer Brother. Very nice. Very nice for both these runners. Very scary. Oh, Feropen gets forward. He's not going to get the RNG point. Come on, game, dude. No throne jump for Scarface and no throne jump for Feropen. So neither runner is going to be able to get the throne jumps. We've only had one runner get the clip in 643, and only one runner get throne jumps. This is nutty, guys. This is nutty. Oh my god. It's it, like it's coming down to. It's coming down to shared points, guys. It's coming down to shared points. That's it. We can't chalk it up to anything else, right? It's It's got to be coming down to the shared points. All right. Scarface is going to be first. Should be, at the, be able to get the fire kill here. Nice, Broken also getting the fire kill. All right, here we go, man. World three. Shared point right off the start. Three, one. Single frame jump. Let's go. Let's go. He's got this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Scarface gonna be first and he doesn't get it. Oh no! Feropen can get this, man. This is very important. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Oh man. That's a lot of points right there. The 3 1.
That's two points. That's two points that was that was opened up for these runners. All right. Okay, just gonna grab a quick drink of water. Scarface not getting run away. Nice, it looks like Feropen did a great job too. 3-2, Scarface is very far from Runaway. Uh, let's see where Feropen is here. Oh man, Feropen gets Runaway again! That is two Runaways, and that is the RNG. Oh no, Scarface messing up a little bit. Uh, Feropen is going to actually catch up here because he has P-Speed, watch this. Very close, man, holy crap. Uh, he didn't take damage though, which is very important. And Feropen has 77 coins here. Hopefully he's watching his coin count. Scarface not going to be able to get run away, whereas Feropen has already gotten run away. This is going to be another opportunity for Scarface to, to stay in the lead with time. Does not get door four. Oh, Feropen does get door four! And just like that, it just got even harder for Scarface. It just got even harder for Scarface here. Um, let's see what kind of position for opens in here. Oh, he should have used the music box there. He definitely should have used the music box there, right? He's not going to do the trick he used last time. So the reason we're staying on Scarface's um, audio here is because we're going to see what for open does. Scarface might actually take the lead here if Feropen tries to do Hammer. And Feropen is not going to, okay. Oh man, wow. The RNG points coming in clutch for Feropen there, right? Right there. But door four is a big deal, man. Sixty-six coins for Scarface. He needs to make sure he doesn't get that. Nice for open. Gonna go for the big H jump. Nice. He has to do the readjust, but he does get it. Very, very nice. Oh, Scarface Nico does hit the music note. If you hit that music note, you're not going to be able to make the jump over, unfortunately. Very nice. All right. Scarface is uh, starting to bleed a little bit of time here. I mean, it's still... There's still lots of game left, but it's starting to move to the side here because Scarface Nico is now actually behind by three points. He's now behind by three points. So it's going to be tough here. It's going to be very tough. Uh, somebody was asking about how shared points essentially work, and so shared <clears throat> shared points are based shared points are based off of how your opponent does the level as well. So, um, so in this instance, there's a shared point for jumping at the start of three one. If Scarface gets the jump at the start of three one, he doesn't get the point until Feropen fails the jump of three one. If they both get the jump at 3-1, then neither runner gets the point because they both got it. If they both fail it, neither runner gets the point. But if one run runner gets it 
and the other runner doesn't, then the person who gets it gets the point. That's how shared points work. <gasps> no! Scarface took damage right at the end there! No! That is stuff that makes the difference. Now he is four points behind with no lifeline. He's got to get some clutch RNG points here because, yeah, nothing in World 3. Come on, Scarface, bring it back. We need Froppen to make some mistakes. Just like that, and he, buddy, still gets P-Speed, though. Look at that. No big deal. Still gonna get that bottom P-Speed. Come on, come on, Scarface. Wipe it off, man. Wipe it off. You got the extra Fire Flowers, right? You got the extra stuff? Yes, he does. Very nice. Bring it home, man. Bring it home. Froppen with the movement of four. Scarface with bottom P-Speed, that's what we want to see! Technically, Scarface doesn't have to bring it back by four points. Faropa could take a death. Right? What if Faropen misses the 5-4 the jump with Firefly? That's a two-point swing right there. That's a big deal. Wow! Almost getting a marathon for Faropen, that was very close. That's what Scarface does not want to see. Nice. Pretty decent RNG here for Scarface. Not... It's not anything special. He's still going to have to chase the hammer, brother. Uh, but these runners are still very close to each other. They're not that far apart. And for open getting very nice RNG, he is able to fight this uh, Cloud Bro before any shenanigans with the Hammer Brothers. So that's good. Is he going to use a star here? Yes, he is. Very nice for Faropen. That's exactly how you want that fortress to go. Scarface not going to use a star. Wow, very nice for Scarface. Don't take damage. Yes, he, look at how much he's going to catch up too because the Fire Flower. Very nice. Although he hasn't fought his Hammer Brother yet though. All right, impossible for Faropen to get a marathon here. And Scarface, oof. In a rough spot, man. In a rough spot. Very nice, Scarface gets his P-Speed. He's gonna do a turn back here. Oh, he's conf He's not sure exactly what he wants to do, man. That lack two is just all in his business. Just all over the place. And I'm not even talking about Scarface, I'm talking about this, the Hammer Brothers, or sorry, the, um, the lack of twos. really annoying. So, Faropen is in an uncomfortable position here with having to maybe fight- Ooh, very nice for Scarface. Scarface could get a, a marathon here. Uh, that would help him with the points. That is a marathon! That is it! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! That de that actually just happened right there. Wow. That actually just happened. What is going on? All right. For open might have to fight the uh the P-wing here which give a Scarface a chance to catch up a little bit. Oh, he already did fight the P-wing. Okay, okay. Okay. That's a big difference here. They're not too far off then. They're not too far off. Wow, okay.
That's insane. What a perfect time, guys. What a perfect time to eat my, uh... I've got a couple bites, too, and we're on the boring airship, so I'm just gonna go quiet just for a minute here. Trying to take a couple bites. Be right back. Yo, both runners getting screwed over by the boss there, man. That boss is so lame. I hate how you go through the boss when you're supposed to stomp on him. It's so annoying. Yeah, Twisty Castle will go fine. We're open though, he needs to get the 282. All right, no movements of four yet. Looking good. Looking good! Oh yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, still no movements of four. That was a movement of three, but not a movement of four. Oh yeah, Scarface is doing a much better at the um, 
Twisty Castle for Open doing a really good job as well. Um, and this is the this is a huge swing right here for Scarface. If Ropen messes up this jump. It doesn't look like he's going to. That would have been the opportunity that Scarface needed right there, right? Because if Ropen died, he'd lose one point for dying, and he'd lose the Fire Flower. So that'd be two points. Ropen getting movement of four as well. One movement of four for Ferropen. Oh, he took damage though! And didn't get P-Speed. That's the two point swing right there. Scarface also getting the big jump. What is going on right now? That is a big no-no there for Ferropen. Not getting a movement of four for Scarface. Is Scarface gonna get the P-Speed here? If he does get it, he gets to capitalize on the share points and he does capitalize on the share points. Wow. Well, Froppen can't lose fire, can't, doesn't lose points for losing Fire Flower again, so he's good. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Froppen, what? With the double shot there and the bounce? That was incredible. That was really cool. We're open with two movements of four. Scarface with the movements of two, man. Scarface cannot get any movements of four here. Oh, neither can for open. Oh, Scarface taking damage. He needs to not die here. He really needs to not die here. All right, he is in the clear. He should equip a mushroom or something. I don't think Scarface has mushrooms because he didn't full clear the card. So what's he gonna do here? Oh, he does have a mushroom. He's got one. That's right, from uh, World 1, I think it is. No movements of four for Froppen, unfortunately. Nope, that was close though. Scarface does get a movement of four, but that would be his first one, so he cannot capitalize on that here. Capitalization. What an insane World 5. What an insane World 5. So Scarface well, Scarface did get the two point swing, but not where you would think. Not at all where you would think. Not at all where you would think. Dump, 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 dump. Mm -hmm. Let's go, baby. Da 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 da. World six time. World six time. All right, let's scroll down a little bit here. Well, okay, Scarface doesn't have Fire Flower, so he can't actually lose it. So he's good. Going down to World 6 here. What do we got? Yeah, Feropen has a nice lead here. All right, here we go. High or low, what's he going to get? Gonna start off with high pattern, very nice.
Oh my gosh, so close from Scarface. I think the only thing I've missed so far was Scarface's high or low pattern. I think that's the only thing I missed from Scarface. Scarface also got high patterns. Both runners getting high pattern. Nice. Okay. Easy to remember. Both runners getting high pattern. All right. Here we go. Very nice. World 6, man. Still anyone's game right now. Oh, no. Nico getting a little marathon. For open, not going to be able to get the despawn strategies. Nice. Going to take the shell with him, though. Nice. Oh, this could be bad. Although Feropen does get the good RNG here. However, oh, and Scarface doesn't have the extra music. Oh, and Feropen also. Both runners have to use the extra music box. But Feropen still has one extra music box. And that is where Feropen is going to save some time on Nico. There's a lot of people who might not know exactly where that time save is, but... Uh, Scarface had to use a music box to avoid fighting a star bro and by doing that he now has to do the piranha plant in world 7 So Scarface is first gonna have to do the fortress here then fight the hammer brother. Hopefully he gets low pattern We'll see for open Scott level 6-8 before he goes for his manipulation. He's probably gonna do the pipe thing. They both runners decided that they're that, that um, That's how they're gonna do it, which is pretty interesting. I like this. I like this um, Community created sub pixel manipulation for wall jump um, Something that you can never do in a speed run because you lose too much time, but something you can do in this Oh, and Scarface gets high pad and unfortunately he's not gonna be able to get that RNG point but he was able to get no inventory star, so that's a good point right there. All right. First try wall jump for Feropen. Oh man, it's just starting to get a little harder here. Gonna use that mushroom, try and go for the clip. Here we go. is getting intense. Subpixel manipulation for Scarface. For open that turn back. That's a weird setup he's got, but I mean, it, whatever, right? Scarface needs to take this point away from him. Oh, and he doesn't get the subpixel. He gets a second try though. So now for open is going to get the wall jump point. That's how shared points work, right? If they both get wall jump, nobody gets the point. If they both fail wall jump, nobody gets the point. But if one person gets it over the other, then they get it. So you messing up the wall jump gives your opponent the point. That's how it's shared. However, Scarface could get the clip here and this would be a pretty big game changer. Jumped a little too far there. He knew it too. He knew he jumped a little too far. Uh, very unfortunate. I'm curious what the time difference here is. So, do you guys do you guys know the time difference? 
Scarface got two high patterns, didn't have leaf, didn't get wall jump or floor clip. That is a very, very rough world six for Scarface. That is kind of close to what might do it for him. That's kind of close to what might make it a little hard for him there. He is down by three points right now. And he's also, he's also in second place for the race. So four points, kind of. For open going for the fire kill. Very nice fire kill for Feropen. He's gonna go for the sub pixel manipulation. Very nice. He's gonna go for low. Wants to go for that duck clip, man. I'm not a huge fan of the duck clip. On Feropen screen, let's see when the king grabs the wand at a 37-20. About 37, 28, 28 and a half. So we'll we'll just 37, 29. How about that? 37, 29. I'm for open screen. So Scarface is about 10 seconds behind. For open gets the first try. That's big. About 30 seconds behind so far. A little under 40 seconds behind. All right, here we go. This is when it gets intense. Broken got 7 1 first try, so he's going to be able to keep that lead very strong, very strong lead. Uh, unless Scarface gets a first try, we're still in massive hand range. Come on, Scarface, first try. You guys want to know what's interesting is that okay here's here's what's very interesting i just realized these runners are going inside of a pipe transition to set up sub pixels to wall jump in world six but how come in world seven these runners aren't going into the first pipe and sub pixel manipulation there and then coming back and clipping right they could do that it's very possible nice for open with the pipe to pipe not going to get punished here. Oh, no. Scarface. Scarface doesn't have time, man. He doesn't have time. Ooh, Scarface with pipe to pipe, I think. Oh, yeah. Double runners. Pipe to pipe. No bump yet for Feropen. Let's get the P-Speed here. Very nice. I'm not exactly sure what pace uh, for opens on, but he's gonna go for the seven six here. Let's see if he gets it. Ah, the double points! Oh no, Scarface Nico uses his warp whistle. Scarface Nico accidentally uses his warp whistle. I, I have no idea what he could do here. It seems like he's gonna have to reset, get the two warp whistles. It's over, yeah. It's it, he doesn't have it. There's nothing he can do here. I so the way the tournament works is that I don't have anything uh, pre-planned or prepared. I I don't because I don't know when people are gonna use warp whistles or how it's gonna work. You hate to see it. That is the run killer. Now. 
the reason the reason something like that is a, is a run killer in terms of a race and stuff like that mainly because I mean I've done that in a world record run before world record pace right it sucks but um, menuing in your inventory is a very important thing and when that happens that's unfortunate and unfortunately Scarface is like he he's got to do seven four. He's just gonna go until the hour mark, right? That's that's really all he can do. No bumps for for open. Um, so yeah. Um, I will actually message Scarface and ask him. He is allowed to surrender the run. Um, he doesn't have to though, but he is allowed to surrender the run. Uh, I don't think this is an embarrassing way to go down. This isn't the first time this has happened in, in the points tournament. Uh, last season, Mars did the same thing, but Mars did it in World Four, which is on which is really unfortunate. Mistakes happen. That's right. Um, it's just when the runners look for an answer from me um, when they use a warp whistle. It's like I can't I can't help in this situation. I wish I could. I wish there was a predetermined rule, but there's no rule that can do anything with this, right? Like, we could actually spend the time right now to try and come up with... With, um... You know, but there's nothing you can do. First of all, we don't know exactly where a runner is going to use a warp whistle, right? So a good example, if, if a runner uses a warp whistle at the start of World 5, it just takes you to World 5, so you're good. Rule should be you can warp back to the start of where you were. Well, that's what he's doing right now. Well, yeah, that's 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 what he's doing right now. But I mean, the run is just completely right. It's just it's shot. Unfortunately, there's nothing. Well, that that is an unconfirmed rule zipper. I mean, that's what people are going to do anyways, because you can't forfeit. So the only option is to start over and warp back to where you are. But I can't, like, that's it. Like, like, I can't, I can't help any other way. There's nothing, there's nothing I can do. Penalty for warping should be fairly harsh. Right now, there is no penalty for accidental warping because accidentally warping already pretty much loses you the race. So a punishment for warping, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. The accidental warp is already the penalty. Yeah, it's harsh enough, right? As you guys can clearly see. Like, you guys realize he has no items, right? He has to do 7-4. He's got no music box. So it's like, by the... Like... His run's gonna end in, like, tank 1, right? With the way the time works. Damn, man. Nice try, though. Nice try. Um... He can still claim the no bonk. He can still claim the... He can still claim three points here, though. Why would we give them minus five points for warping accidentally? That doesn't make any sense. If he was if somebody was in the lead by 10 points and then they used the warp whistle, well, they wouldn't they would not be in the lead anymore. That's a great opportunity for whoever they're they're winning against, you know, they have a chance. Well, I said you guys could try and come up with ideas, but No bonks yet for Scarface Nico. Uh, Scarface Nico has already done this level. So if he messes up here, he won't actually lose a point because he's already he's already done it without a punishment. It's already it's it's void. So like I don't even have to make that a rule. Right? The warping back. Because if they don't warp back, then they're forfeiting. And if you forfeit, you lose a point and the race is over, right? And no runner forfeits. No one has really forfeit this tournament. No one would want to. That's a 
unfortunate way to go down, right? So you have two cho- like, that's why I said I don't even have to make warping back a rule because you have two choices. You forfeit or warp back. So everyone- the, the, the instances where people have accidentally used a warp whistle... Uh, they both warped back. It's just been Mars and Scarface. Scarface was playing so well today. This is just something that would happen to him. Unfortunate. No, no one's getting penalized for using a war- They're- They're getting peniled enough. They're getting a lot- They're getting enough peen for using a warp whistle. Nico was playing extremely well, and like I said, Nico was by by PB the underdog in this situation, and he, oh man, he really had a serious chance. Uh, for open came in massively clutch for race number two, though, uh, making it very hard for Nico. But when he goes back and watches the race, he's gonna see is it was starting to go sour for him around um, world six um, due to a couple points of RNG and the wall jump uh, share point. But other than that, man, oh man. So that's an interesting thought. A lot of people have, you know, I've even uh, considered that by making, you can't make someone not grab the fort, uh, the flute in world one. And if I make not grabbing the flute in World 1, that would be a useless point because you, you're you not doing anything special for these points. You're just doing the fortress in a different way. You're not going to die in the first fortress. Oh, for open getting one hand so far, hand number two. Right? If a runner is worried about getting the warp whistle, then they themselves should, should just not grab the warp whistle. But most, it's just like a one-time mistake. That's what makes it kind of exciting. So making a rule to not get the flute in world one, like no. I I have a rule. How about you, how about you get good and get the warp whistle? But listen, we've all been there. What Mario 3 runners here have not have access? Okay, how many Mario 3 runners here have accidentally used a warp whistle in the wrong spot during a run? I'm raising my hand. I have before too. I actually accidentally used a warp whistle. After I got no hands, and it's and it ruined my world record run. That was like six years ago, but I still did that. So, you know, we all suffer from the fear of warp whistles. So to change to change it up like that would just be silly. All right, there's no. It's just don't use it. It's there's nothing we can do. Ah, oh, Nico almost got it, but he did get the one. Oh, second try. Come on. But he does get the 183, so he, he's still got some points here. And we got him down for second place. Still no bumps yet for him, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you gotta take the many, and it's not even to, it's not even to say that I I don't even think Scarface was trying to menu too fast because he was starting to he was starting to run out of steam, but it's just accidental inputs, man. This is the way it is. This race was so close, man. Alright, for open, I'm gonna go for the combo points. He is now out of all the garbage that starts at the end of World 7. Even now, the race is still close. I mean, even, a, even in game 2. Nice, for open, I'm gonna get the combo point. Scarface Nico has not bumped on the overworld map yet. Also... Uh, fun to note is that... Oh, he's gonna go for the clips? No, don't go for the clips, because Scarface has time to do the comp. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Scarface has enough time to make it to conveyor. Very nice. Combo point for Feropen, very nice. All right, he didn't get conveyor P-Speed last run. He'll get it this run though, right? He does get it, very nice. 
And some people are saying he's on pace right now for sub 54. Let's do it. God, a, war a warp whistle, man. I, I was not expecting, because nobody was even close to using a warp whistle in this tournament. And now that's two tournaments in a row, so season four is going to be a little scary here. It's the way of the road, guys. It's just the way she goes. It's the way of the road. No, I haven't released the update yet, Tampa. Not yet. Fucking way she goes. Yeah, for open with the with the no team hold right. Nice for opens out of there. He's going to finish up. Dude, no, get out of there. Oh my god, it's so scary in there, Scarface. It's so scary. Maybe one second late? I don't know, man. I don't know if he can get it. He's got 88 coins in homage to 1988. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Yeah. Is it 20 seconds from Bowser dying? I think it's less. I think it's like 17 or some shit. Right on. 11 after Quake. Very nice. Sub 54, right there, 22. All right, Scarface. We'll leave Scarface on. We got a little background noise, but unfortunately, I, Scarface cannot make it. Um, so, considering the circumstances, considering the circumstances, I, ca I can't ask him if he wants to surrender his run so he doesn't have to do five minutes of auto-scrollers. Because that's pretty much it. All Scarface has enough time to make it past the hands, and that's about it, right? Especially if he gets no hands. Um, or we could just let him go. Yeah, accidental warp whistle, unfortunately. Man, that's... so. It happens, though. I've been there, it happens. If you guys, if you guys watched all GDQ runs, you guys would know that Karua actually used... intentionally used a warp whistle in the Mario 3 Relay Race so that he didn't accidentally use it later. He used it at the start of World 5, so it's out of your inventory. It, you lose like 8 seconds or some crap, but it's no longer in your inventory anymore. Hey, Scarface Nico gets 5 minutes of free time. No, Scarface doesn't have time to make it to another point. Oh, Scarface did not bump on the overworld, right? Imagine using a warp whistle in a warpless run. It's called warpless. They should have been disqualified for a non-cosmic brain strategy. Well, 
Had Scarface not accidentally used that Warp Whistle, I can almost guarantee he probably would have got the combo points. And uh, probably the Conveyor Peace Speed as well. Um, so... Oh, he's also going to get punished for the 60. That's right, I got to mark that down. Yeah. He got punished for the 60. Scarface is average points per match, and he's done two matches. This is his third. His average points per match is 25. He got 25 total in both races, in both matches. And then this match, had he not used that Warp Whistle, he probably would have got like 30, 33 in both matches. So that's a massive increase. God, he was playing so well. But Feropen is a very good player, so... Yeah. Scarface did really well. But, someone's got to lose, right guys? Uh, don't forget guys to type exclamation tournament. Uh, if you do that, then you can get the schedule on the calendar. And there is another race tonight. The Bagler versus Old Man Beauty Locks. Yeah, Frog Suit versus Frog Suit. I should make the I should make the match. You guys have to use your frog suits. What, what time, what, what big, we have a big race tomorrow, don't we? Another big weekly race. We do giant weekly races every week. Is it 100% or warpless tomorrow? Come on, no hands. Oh, if he got no hands, what a waste. Scarface is a great guy for playing this out. I mean, he could not play it out, but then he loses a point for forfeiting. He wants he wants to maximize his career total because future seasons will depend on it. Eventually it will. I'm sure once we convert from uh when we re when we rename the, the tournament, because like I said before, we're not gonna we're not gonna go all the way up to like season 16 and crap. It just sounds so lame. But eventually, once... Oh, that's okay, though. As long as he doesn't die here, he's got 30 seconds of gameplay. But once the run hits the 60-minute mark, the run stops. Your run, you have to stop your run. It's over. There's no point in continuing. It'd just be a waste of time. Um, yeah, he did a good job. I think he has just enough time to finish this level. Right on, and just enough time. Hey, I, I haven't seen Computer MD. What's going on here? Well, I didn't get no hello. Now I'm sad. Yo, GG to the runners, man. GG to the runners. Yeah, I, I have both runners chats open, right? I have both both videos and both runners chats open. That was pretty good, man. That was Scarface did a great job continuing. Again, that kind of situation um, for what he was put in is there's not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Yeah, 